everyone. Good afternoon, dear viewers, and hello, everybody who's joining us. I'm very glad to greet you here on the uh, Intellectual and Business uh, uh, Forum. Five love life hacks from grant holders. Well, we just uh, almost everybody understand now what is grant support. To put it uh, simple, uh, grant is the money which you can get to implement your ideas which are useful for society, just uh, getting grant and looking for grant and uh, working on grant, so how to use it, how to report about how you use the money. It's a difficult way, not easy. And we have four grant holders which are going to share their experience and from which of them we will get one life hack and I hope we'll have enough time uh, as to create fifth life hack. So let's not waste time. We don't have enough. Oh, it also Viktor Kazantsev. It's uh, uh, this is the grand winner for Russian uh, movie studio Regina Gariev. So it's uh, UNESCO Aydar Tatarstan uh, guide project Kashapov uh, It's uh, a social project, a young lawmaker, and uh, this is the Stuklova Marina. This is Ethno Project Staba. And uh, Vic Victor, let's just begin with you. Tell us, please, uh, what is your project about? And tell us few what's about you. My project is Studio of the Students Films. We uh, started it in 2018. I had a dream, not a dream, when as if I was part of the shooting process and I like it very much, and I said just I really want to use it. I live in Nizhnikamsk. We don't have anything there about the filmmaking, or, and I got the idea in this day I wanted to have my own studio. It, was, it, it, it uh, originally was totally unreal, unrealistic, but I started doing these things, and I applied for a grant, and uh, we won 270,000 rubles. This year we won 920,000 rubles. And so we have this training uh, site for, uh, for students. We teach in four directions, the producers, cameramen, uh, and uh, so filmmakers. So we have uh, master classes. We create our own product and we shoot our own films and we show them in our movie theaters. And now we are on the Republican level and from September uh, we start the same projects in Almetyevsk. Well, it's probably very, really very interesting project which is already self-supporting. You told us that you had a dream when you were sleeping. How difficult was it to implement and how, how was it? Well, it was very difficult because I really wanted to do something myself. And I wanted to make a short movie. We, we, my first, we got first grant. We used our... Oh, you just skipped most interesting thing. God grant. What do you mean God grant? That's what we're talking about. Can you elaborate? I know that you, we are watched by the grant holders, uh, but we are more mainly for uh, the ones now, uh, for those who are looking forward for information. So that's why tell us how you got your first grant. Our first grant was 10,000 rubles. And we were supported by the city, and we opened our uh, office. We had nothing. We had no, no cameras, no knowledge. We just had a good team. Uh, just like myself, it was unrealistic back then that we can uh, shoot our own movie. It was, come on, how can youth shoot something? We got some simplest equipment. We shot it, we tested it, then we had premiered in the center, had plenty of people, so that was more or less the way I have dreamt that we are on the stage, yes, I was dreaming that, yes, I am standing on stage, we did, uh, made the movie, we premiered it, everyone is excited, in that sense, obviously, it's like deja vu, 
saying that you need to be moving forward, any kind of obstacles can be overcome. Then I felt that this is not enough, I want something more, I want top equipment, I want a premiere in a true cinema. Uh, my team first thought that, yeah, right, how did they get it? I applied uh, to different uh, grants at various forums. First, second, the same project? Yes, the studio of the student cinema. And on the forum I felt that I, I want 200,000. I felt that's, you know, I want more of that, more money. Then there was a forum uh, higher than the roof in St. Petersburg. I felt that I'm missing something. I wrote a project for the grant worth 70,000 and I got it again. I came back, uh, got it. We had a team, we got mentors, we, or we started teaching students. Then we had two months of shooting. It was outside in the cold, eight to ten days. As a result, we did get the movie. Uh, presented in the cinema, full theater, some 200 people, etc., a large screen, and I'm looking at that, and the feeling is that uh, my understanding how much I had to go through to reach my dream become reality. Well, the way you're presenting it, it sounds as if an ideal dream, an interesting moment that all people should pay attention that you've presented the project twice it was failing twice and it was accepted the third time that's i guess the example of how you should be continuing continuing going forward i would like to keep on going forward and learning details i think uh Mendeleev should have dreamed about something else what is your life hack Uh, I would recommend everybody who takes part in the grand contest, it's important to train how you present, because experts don't like uh, to hear the same thing that they have read on their laptops, etc. In that sense, you should be capable of presenting and selling your project, not to just the same facts, but showing the cover to convince them that you are burning with that idea, you want to get the world better. The confidence is making me willing to invest in you. You need to sell that project. You have an idea, someone else wants to buy it. I guess the idea, I think many moderators should be behaving the way you do. Because some guys are coming and reading off the sheet of paper, experts are falling asleep, they are having 100 projects a day and when I got it third time I started presenting with a loud voice they woke up and they looked at me that was a surprise hey it's a cool project but if I would have come up with a hello my name is and I came up saying good afternoon dear experts my name is Viktor Kazatsov I'm representing you the project studio of student cinema are you interested? Let me talk to you one after the other. That's how it started and that's how I got a grant. Good job. Let us give a round of applause to that energy with which we started. So your life hack is don't forget about presentation. You might have prepared preparation, figures, budgets, theory, etc. But you need to present it properly. I guess I should add uh, myself that it's not so much trying to avoid the text that you have prepared, but the missing, the intonation, decisiveness in the presentation. Learn to present it as tasty as you see it in your dreams. Thank you very much. I hope you would have some time by the end of the our session to be able to discuss all those, uh, dear guests, we will be discussing life hugs that uh, your colleagues have been offering and right now we'll move on to the next guest who will talk about her project and her life hug, Regina Gaeva. Let us give a chance to applaud, we always like it. Please talk about yourself, about your project. Hello, my name is Regina. I'm a photographer, student of Federal University. Institute of Economics, uh, General Strategic Management. My project is 
Let's come to Tatarstan. It's a youth uh, tour of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. We have three of them, and I would like to tell everybody about this, explain everything so that the youth would know about this and would pre then this my blog tour is for young talented journalists and bloggers we know there is a problem of domestic tourism and i believe this project is a wonderful opportunity to make tourism in russia to be popular among the youth from youth to the youth i believe that comes in well understanding and uh, get on the very high platform bloggers will help us host photographers and journalists will make a beautiful picture uh, well, you're presenting it as if naturally, as if I'm at the end of the movie where you have that happy end. How did you come up with the idea and how did you get that implemented? Well, probably because I wanted to become a blogger myself. And uh, when I was looking at the way bloggers were invited in various cities, not programming guests, but when you're not a blogger, you don't have that chance. Whilst I want to give this chance to talented youth, give the chance to them to see Tatarstan because we have things to show and to share. In that sense, that's my dream. And that meant the way I am getting my dream implemented, making it happen not only for myself but for others. Those guys would not be only traveling as tourists, they would be getting a wonderful educational program from leading experts in photography and blogging as well as a wonderful entertainment program visiting Kazan. Sounds fun. Uh, my beloved lady I installed Instagram to her is confident that I am a blogger, which I'm not. In that sense, uh, when is the threshold that you cross to become a blogger? You turn into a blogger when your audience is listening to you, when you feel the constant feedback. It's not important the figure of your subscribers, it's the interaction. Thus, worry, uh, care about your subscribers and value them irrespective of the number of them. Could you please share about your experience, the grants? In my case, it was first experience. I was a bit uh, excited, a bit anxious. I didn't know whether I need it or not. But when your country gives you that chance, you should use those opportunities because you might feel sorry afterwards. And uh, if uh, my colleague spoke about the oratory experience, but in my sense, it was uh, interaction with experts that was more demanding. At the same time, it's a life hack because once you fill the application, interaction with experts is important. And how does that take place? Well, you are excited, you are a bit uh, anxious, but you understand that you need to come up to the expert and interact with them. Okay, maybe let me reformulate. How does it happen technically? Are you coming into the room where everything is dressed in black and it's in candles? Everything is lit with the candles? No. Experts are humans, just like us. At the Veda Forum, we had different topics. Uh, first date might have been presentation, then it might be budgeting, etc., etc. And you're learning every day, and at the end of that project session, you have some time to approach, to interact with the expert, ask anything you might come up with. And on top of that, any free day, any free minute, when you see an expert there, it's okay to approach them to ask if you have a free minute. They say yes, and then you should use them. Yes, when they might be going back from the cafeteria and you, got, you called them, that's a chance to interact with them. Before you turn into paparazzi that are tra tracing all those experts, I would like to remind you that it wouldn't work unless you are kind and you understand when you should stop and let the speakers go. Yes, you shouldn't be inappropriate in your human-to-human -human interaction. You should be asking questions in a proper preparedness level because when you're interacting with experts that's actually helping you get the experience of we how you are 
I would admit that when I was interacting with experts first, I felt that my project was very rough and I didn't want, I wouldn't want to take part in that myself. Whilst by the end, I felt that yes, I, that would be something that I would want to invest into. And that's an important topic. How do you understand, how can you understand that your project is still rough? The thing is that when you start showing it to experts and they start breaking it down, that's more or less how it happens. First, your expert is telling you, you know, rough here, rough here, please do it that. And you are uh, changing it uh, after every meet every meeting and you're getting it to a wonderful level. Expert with the feedback is helping you to understand that everything is cool. Now it's everything is cool and then you are feeling, hey, I've got the chance to uh, to win it. I just need to present it, uh, defend it, and that's the interesting part. And what's your life hug uh, into our piggy bank? Well, interaction with experts, hundred percent outside of the uh, thesis, defending the project as thesis. And if you don't have an opportunity to find an expert for the project, well, there are opportunities, 100%. The one who is searching for answers will always find them. I think it's, it was already for the first speaker that we got that nothing is impossible. We should be persistent. Thank you very much. I'll come back to you and discussing many of the nuances and topics. Right now we are moving forward to Asad Kashapov. Uh, with his project, Young Legislators. Thank you for being with us. Could you please talk about yourself, about your project? Hello, everybody, colleagues, friends. My name is Azad Kazap. Uh, I'm a postgraduate of Kazan Federal University, uh, Global Vision Center, a leader of Global Vision Center, as well as the last activity of mine is Youth Parliament the State Council, which is why I decided to file the this, cons this project into that forum uh, territory of meanings. My story was, I guess, unique in the sense that I don't know how it was in case of Regina and Masha. I was coming there I, without a project itself. I didn't file a project before I had an idea to try myself uh, to earn the grant. And some budding idea of the young legislator, but it was not put on paper. I was, of course, interacting with Victor and asking, how should I, whether it's worth doing it or yes or not. And the life hack I'll be sharing with you is reading methodological recommendations, the guidelines, was something that Victor recommended to me, and I would be re-recommending it. So in the sense that there he is, an expert. Well, if speaking about life hugs, well, a reading guidelines is important. It's reasonable because the agency itself is showing you here is that whatever a PDF file is showing you step by step what you should do to prepare your application and build your presentation in a way that would help you to get a grant. And people who don't read that guideline document reference source is are doing a rather unreasonable steps simply because well they there is this uh, example of how they assess it etc so in a sense it gives how you should package your project what it should look like how it's being assessed so this when you're presenting or at least that was my feeling that many of those who are uh, making their presentations they had no idea what to they uh, what to include there uh, don't leave us there you said you officially told us that we can use internet and notes etc it's much better to read it with intonation or try to remember now I guess a victory is better for intonation I will just quote it it should be topical it should be logical the degree to which it can be sc scaled how well you can talk about it, not just implement it, your own contribution. I would say that it must have been there for quite a while. 
obviously you are budgeting that I need 360,000 even though I was given 300 some of the points that I include they said you should get rid of them whilst my own contribution I said the rent space rental in that sense I would not be renting it from somebody you would be asking the public organization to provide us that access because they are capable of but if we be calculate that at the market value uh, renting 100 square meters space costs this much or for example invited experts most likely they would come at a free or uh, free of charge or at the symbolic value whilst at the marketplace it counts a lot so they would look at how much that would be the market value and how and how much we are requesting ourselves and obviously your own experience if you have never implemented anything in your life that's obviously a drawback if you are showing the experience of implementing some projects they could feel that well okay we can entrust you with our respective money as in any kind of resume the corrections into the budget that you have requested that's standard practice to accept a project with corrections into the budget I would say that that's quite standard I would uh, give even more to Victor myself I feel that I got not exactly 300,000 but probably closer to a million with everything that all the experience we got uh, thanks to Victor. We are and moving to the life hug. Well, the life hugs, I guess something that I was talking about for the last five minutes. Guidelines, I spoke about the project less than the, the guidelines. Website, uh, Rosmodesh website at your personal cabinet. Uh, the last tab, my applications, my projects, etc., etc., and the last point is guidelines. And there you find the PDF file. It's uh, problematic for many creative people to read the instruction. People want to say that they would figure out. I think it should be renamed. It should be renamed from the guideline into how to integrate and maybe it should move upwards and put it in bold so that would be our recommendation for those who is responsible for the names of the guidelines it should be selling the idea the guideline itself is a, a guide would be best i guess uh, thank you very much for that life hack it's clearly a jewel in our collection and we are now moving to our first guest of today who would be sharing her life hack and her projects to Clova Maria, uh, Toba Ethna Project uh, Excel Youth Accelerator. That's more or less uh, how you should start the presentation. For your project, it did wake up everybody who got uh, away from our broadcast, be it um, stroking your cat or having a tea. Hello, everybody. My name is Maria Steklova. I'm an ethnomusicologist, a graduate of Kazan State uh, Conservatory of Zhiganov and the master's students at Institute of Culture. Uh, mine is my project is Taba Youth Ethno Cultural Project Accelerators. Uh, the essence of the project is to accelerate projects with some ethno pro uh, topics. I'm ethnomusicologist. I'm traveling to expeditions, I'm visiting grandmas and grandpas, recording, uh, sings and dance, uh, so singing and dancing, and doing scientific work as well. But what I was always burning with is the desire to demonstrate ethno-cultural side of our republic. There are plenty of young who are doing those things and they don't know how to 
make this uh, grow bigger just like how to prepare your projects there might be some people doing creative things and that desire was to help those that want to promote their knowledge just don't know how to uh, the guys living in various districts obviously lots of things are available on the internet and not always they know and they can understand where can they go who they can contact and of course we want to help them saying that folk culture is cool and popular thanks to such people that make it topical etc what pushed you to do that and not uh, something else not collecting etc well let me start with uh, this is my second project uh, my second grant which I won it's my second project second grant but uh, let me t uh, tell a little bit more about my fears uh, that you don't but you don't you mustn't fear uh, just uh, do what you have to do what you like to uh, just uh, take a stand that you just uh, uh, do what you like it probably for the last 10 years or 11 years I started traveling and uh, my grant supported activity started uh, just uh, uh, several years ago. It was so uh, scary to talk to experts for me. It's, uh, well, it was, uh, I was very shy. I was afraid. Maybe it's a wrong idea. Maybe I will ask a stupid, idiotic question and people will tell me, okay, get lost, don't come to me, just forget about it. And so that is why first what I wanted to ask, don't be afraid. Uh, just, uh, just, just go forward, just full speed ahead. As our first expert said, just uh, go and do it. I know that, uh, I know that some grant, uh, potential grant receivers, they just try to do, to apply five times and unsuccessfully. Uh, last year in November, uh, there was a context, uh, and our our grant is there for individuals, but we won the first time. Uh, so not to confuse you completely, let me explain. We just got the grant from the Ministry of the Youth. This grant uh, was, and uh, so I hope everything will be fine. God willing. Uh, it is even more valuable when you're supported by your republic because uh, we had situations and we had projects on a federal level when you are supported on a federal level but here locally in the republic they think that well maybe it's not important maybe it's um, not what we need and we had such grants and together with experts it uh, I am a creative person and for me it was quite difficult to work with the papers writing budgets and everything for me it's easy to dance to to show something what I can do to sing a song or something as in probably any artist I just uh, wanted to do something physically but you cannot write a budget by dancing around it that's what I can do very well so you need some uh, kind of a logical dry people who can uh, compartmentalize everything, go to experts, and, and they can uh, write a lot of details and a lot of formal things. Oh, by the way, one more life hack, record everything, just like record it on your phone. Uh, there's information, but you should forget very quickly. And when you talk with the experts, first time I was stopped right in the beginning of my project, it was right in the midnight. Uh, defense uh, of your product uh, project it just it doesn't have any time limits uh, you can you can be invited anytime in our case we had a lot of projects and the uh, timing was uh, I was the last in this timeline and I was the last I was already drowsing already sleeping but I understood you have to do it you come and you immediately uh, come across no that's not interesting not here not for us change this change that it just I was devastated and uh, I was lost completely later on 
uh, it uh, situation brightened up because we had uh, the pitching. Uh, we had 11 uh, jury members, including the Minister of Youth. It was a huge responsibility. <clears throat> and uh, our presentation started with, uh, uh, with a little skit. Uh, we were uh, uh, wearing traditional costumes. Uh, we performed traditional Tatar songs, which were recorded in the remote villages. And we were talking about this project and defending our project. But I think our performance was more impressive than the formal description of it. The more unusual you are, you, you can begin with the film, you can begin with the dance. Show and actually physically show what you can. Not just tell how wonderful you are. How, no, show how wonderful you are. Don't talk about it. Yes, public speaking is a great skill. But the more unusual, the more impressive you are showing well, it doesn't work all the time, but still, you have to find a subtle difference. Don't go to extreme. Just uh, don't just uh, uh, organize this Br Brazilian carnival. Well, uh, but at the same time, don't stick to the dry numbers and uh, uh, budget calculations. Well, second project we got for it's a grant for individuals, and it was. Uh, we, we didn't have to uh, talk to experts. You just uh, felt uh, we just filled application form, sent it, and uh, start waiting. It is even more uh, psychologically difficult because there is no personal uh, interaction. You just send it. The answer is just yes or no. So what is, well, you're, you're telling it to me, and I'm stressed already. So my life hack is. Uh, so right, right now, a life hack. Just uh, record everything. If you think you talk with it, don't write physically. Just record, and you can find. And uh, when you listen to the second time, you can get wonderful ideas. And second life hack is a uh, well, if it's just um, impressiveness or. Effectiveness. I'm trying to choose the good word. I mean, there must be something very special. You must be unique. Not just uh, talk about something important. You yourself must be face of your project. And it's probably appropriate to, to just... I never, I never understood the saying. You cannot judge the book by its cover. Well, first of all, it's offense to all people who illustrate this book. But it's exactly what happens. The book is judged by its cover. And we judge people by their clothes. And we... S okay, let me just uh, rephrase it. So you are met by your presentation. And then you are judged by your contact. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for two life hacks. So we have already five combo life hack pa package. So the question to everyone... What difficulties you had to come across, apart from um, the fact that you have to read documents and get the, familiarized with the formal side, then there's a known situation where you don't know what to expect. What were the minefields and pitfalls, if you had any? Well, um, first, for example, in my case, uh, we had three experts, and uh, a friend of mine who uh, was with me, but with different project. Uh, what I want to say, experts are very subjective. If, for example, during this session he wasn't given grant for special equipment when he wanted, they thought it's not important and it doesn't need any budget uh, to, to buy some special equipment. But there must be three other people or can be three other people and the same very project can get uh, the money is so it is unpredictable so unsubjective so uh, um, it's a, it's an element of subjectivity of experts is always here is always there and uh, you cannot uh, change it you can't impact on it so if your project was rejected well don't get 
desperate, I mean, just try it with the other experts. And other esper experts might say, well, it's a great project, and you will give you just uh, what you wanted, you know. And uh, uh, probably uh, you have to be careful uh, just being uh, between opinions of two experts. So one expert was telling me, remove it. I had website and its support. Another girl said, why do you need site? I just uh, have a group in contact. Who is using if contact website? Uh, site, so it's a site. I mean, just like, I mean, the experts had different opinion in my case. And we had big projects with about 100 people with 2,000 participants and contact it's not exactly uh, what we wanted so it's a experts opinion sounds is very important thing as an axiom and uh, you have to understand what you need you have to understand what ideas you need and most that uh, maybe you need to change something so that's very interesting uh, very interesting uh, uh, obstacle what is the most difficult in getting the grant let's uh, put it this way what is the most difficult before getting grant and what is the most difficult after you get the grant before getting the grant is to focus and uh, put yourself together and feel the documents uh, uh, and the second one after getting the grant, you have to fill the financial report. My advice for those of you who get the grant, read all documents which you get after you get the grant and get ready, prepare all the receipts. Uh, we just, uh, you, you sound like a person who suffered through experience. Well, you have to read all documents and all instructions and uh, what kind of uh, financial documents you need uh, in your report because otherwise we can have problems it's of course it depends on how and I, we just missed some things but now everything is all right it's okay we corrected all your our mistakes Luckily enough, my, my friends told me, oh, Joe, just you, please just uh, keep all the documents and everything. And um, we, for example, we were uh, uh, making prints for the T-shirts, and uh, we had uh, 200,000 uh, rubles, for example, and uh, uh, we had to have much more financial, much many I mean, financial documents, pictures, and everything. All was was a difficult day. Well, I understand that you know what you're talking about. Uh, right now, the grant which we got in April, uh, we just understood that's a huge amount of paperwork. You have. Uh, 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 monitor who is you have supervisor who is helping you supporting you telling you explaining you calling to you and you call him and asking and apologizing for disturbing you don't want to look uh, you know, like in, in incompetent person well uh, if you so uh, well uh, people who uh, supervise grant holders they're very competent for me as a creative person I um, as an artist I I just need some kind of a formal support uh, you are a creative person you are an artist uh, what's your uh, relations what's with the paperwork filling forms and everything well I do do have some experience uh, with work but this uh, inspiration sometimes is on the way uh, of filling the documents and keeping the formal side of the uh, grant. If you have some friends, if you have some acquaintances who is uh, experienced in this thing, so check and double check everything what you do. I mean, you have to understand your weak sides. Don't rely that on the fact that you can do everything. If you don't understand something, uh, just uh, 
uh, learn to delegate powers. Uh, tell please about your experience with the. Uh, uh, what about delegating uh, powers? At what moment you personally understood that you have to delegate? I think it happened during the force. One thing is to apply the for grant, but it happens that every every meeting with experts, uh, you got a lot of new things. Experts tell you, or oh, said, good that you have some some as a social work. You still you you don't have a network, and uh, you just have to do something during one night to find somebody who can do it and just. Uh, to do something that attractive, you understand how you can do it. You are not a web designer, so it's important to have a very good team. And fortunately, I have such friends. I wrote them, and they very quickly, quickly did it. Yeah, that's very important. Don't try to do everything yourself. Trust people. Ask for help. Don't don't shy to be. Even if these people are not your friends, um, until you. Until you ask for help, uh, nobody will know that you need help. So that's why I don't don't be shy. Uh, there are a lot of good people around you. Uh, how did you deal with the uh, paperwork and everything? I don't know. I don't know. I've just got the grant, and uh, we will start getting uh, contracts very soon. I don't know why it was a surprise for you, because we were told from the beginning so get a special uh, bank card only from this uh, uh, bank account. So if you lose any receipts or anything and so on, if you lose it, so that everything, uh, you can have all electronic receipts you have in the mobile banking application. So you have everything here. I started doing it this year. Last year, nobody told us anything. They just send you email on this contract. That's all. Now, from December last year, yes, you got the supervisors, people who told you, and everything and so on. And that's a good example. If you have questions, uh, do I have to keep the receipts? And uh, everything, it just uh, ask questions. Every question helps to avoid problems in, in, in the future. The experts will help you. Or in your case, uh, if you... I just uh, have to delegate uh, powers and just, uh, yeah, we all talked about the fifth life hack today. And um, uh, as you said about uh, recording everything, when you file application and if you have a team and the first paragraph, usually it's your team. So it's important to write down and uh, create presentation you have to pre when you win the grant uh, you, you have to know strong and weak sides of your team that's the moment which you have to take into account for example in my case I uh, ask help for graphic designer here in Kazan so that they can look through application change something I was helped uh, by my friends and uh, in presentation, if you talk about reporting, uh, just in the beginning of August got grant, and I uh, haven't got uh, money yet, uh, but now I already got a lot of pieces of advice, and I was told again and again, just uh, keep everything to prove your financial spendings, and so on. I hope everything's fine. Uh, well, life hacks, uh, dear viewers, should, 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 should keep it. Be ready for some kind of unexpected things and some unexpected situations. Well, let me understand. Uh, well, for example, I am 36 years old. Can I, if I have a great idea, go and get grant? Yeah, I guess you can. Uh, Minister of uh, Youth is not the only ministry. <sighs> uh, well, we have president grants, and you no age limitations. 
about what are limitations you do have as for I think it's a age from 14 to 30 years old but then it will be a 14 35 years old so it was a not a good joke okay always check all information you can find it in the internet on the site of uh, youth ministry well I, I believe that the Republic of Tatarstan we have a very good information campaign you just uh, during the quarantine uh, we had several live streams and uh, we were told a lot about forums about grants just it all depends on you and I think 100% Tatarstan is having some kind of a program if four of you will come you can come speaking of any ideas and speaking of objective uh, uh, judgment of your idea well probably it's, it's kind of a trivial question have you ever heard about this project says oh that's a this idea is a fiasco idea or have you heard about great ideas just can you give you ideas um, in your own opinion what projects we are originally a failure and which originally were success I was in forums many times a lot of young people want to get grants on different levels some just have ideas and last year we were in Tavrida and a girl wrote a grant for three days and and he she got it and she was reconstructing restoring the grant was for restoring some kind of old clothes uh, ethnographical project uh, well uh, different grants are different well probably well a okay, reconstruction of uh, old clothes I mean very specific work um, for example you just sit and listen to grants you are not the only one when you go to the defender grant you have a very little time to tell everything uh, Regina can tell how much to, three minutes you have three minutes you have three minutes for a project three minutes you're not sitting and talking like this well you know I have a good project on, and it's just 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 the best with the pauses and with the dry, with drama you don't even have time to to get nervous you it's just worse than uh, well uh, you are learning your presentation or you preparing it how, how do you prepare your presentation how can you not forget in three minutes all this huge work which you've done I basically learned it by heart and I rehearsed it maybe three times I rehearsed it in the shower and uh, well uh, I, I did it uh, yeah, it, is, it was unique project you cannot uh, uh, talk say everything in just three minutes so we have this uh, you have a possibility to talk with the expert the point in the obviously you need to interact with them they would be given some two more minutes to respond to and ask questions whilst everything that is in your card and writing you don't need to repeat it since it's in the project card of course they will read it in the beautiful voice in their head it's much better that uh, than you if you would be repeating that in your anxious voice and what did you do with your presentation first I created it and then I repeated it maybe five to six times I recorded the text I tried to deliver it in three minutes most important here is not to hurry you shouldn't be rushing through the text it shouldn't be unpleasant you obviously shouldn't be going slow nor should you be rushing you should find the medium way as well as accentuating some things or start singing a song or dancing in my case 
I did uh, look at what what are the points that they are using to assess it. Thus, I stressed those. I try to show them why is that topical now our times because we can be first doing it in Kazan and then taking it to 45 regions of Tatarstan because yes they do have a uniqueness etc etc and then every expert is having eight nines tens on those elements so instead of just talking about things for 10 minutes you shouldn't be saying why this is unique possibly it didn't work but in my it worked but in my case you shouldn't be saying why it is unique unique and unique yeah, you shouldn't be repeating the word unique, etc. Some of us uh, tried to remember it by heart, some just read it many times. In my case, it was absolute improvisation, of which I'm sometimes afraid myself. That you are understanding that, well, you can be led astray in the process. In my case, I was hurrying when I was talking. I think it would be good to take two, three, four lessons of oratory skills to be given some advice like, hey, slow down. Talk in a way that everything is clear. I remember I spent about a week rewriting my delivery text uh, for 10 times or less I came on stage three minutes or the fence all my papers stayed behind I improvised but of course I had some say structure of how I want to go to which you can add some things you certainly don't want any water but sometimes it doesn't happen we are all human and just giving dry figures is boring of course you should find that balance between dry figures and your uniqueness. Uh, thank you very much. It seems that uh, overall the answer to this question is you need to give answers uh, to the questions that those experts are faced to find answers to. I'm quite confident that many of you are capable of say, speaking fast with proper diction. It's just the problem is that your human brain doesn't take in the information at the speed with which you can be shooting it at people. There is no correct answer. Somebody is re remembering this by heart. Someone thought through everything to be able to respond whatever comes your way in the course of the presentation. And, well, if you are living in where finding time for oratory skills course is impossible, hey guys, we are living in the future, we have YouTube, and there are so lots of interesting materials that would be helpful on presenting skills. And a question that is important for me to reiterate, where can people find out about the grants? It, uh, I would say that uh, everybody has Instagram. Ministry uh, for the Youth Affairs, uh, Tatarstan Youth, everything. So the, the website of the Ministry for Youth Affairs of the Republic of Tatarstan. Now that you have internet access, you have you can have no excuses that you didn't find something. Well. Uh, what can you spend your money, your grant money for if I have an idea? And can I spend it for something specific, uh, some things, or can I hire people? It's, uh, and uh, TV. You can't pay wage to yourself, but your staff, yes. You have the right to hire an administrator, technical director, the team that you have. The team that is inscribed in your application? No. Uh, those whom you hired? Yes. If you are having a concert, you can hire a photographer and you can pay for the photographer's services. And may I continue what you can request money for, for the things that you need for the implementation of the project. If it's a media project, you are buying a video equipment. If it is uh, travel, tourist travel, you are buying backpacks, uh, tents, etc., block notes, 
stationary etc which is not topical because many experts in recent half a year at least we had respective elements uh, copy books uh, pens etc etc people are not discussing this with you some points are being stricken out and saying no not for this and you don't even have time to say well uh, obviously t-shirts and everything is important uh, to increase the image of your project because participants like to get stuff they like to feel belonging of something that you have the respective designs the name of the project it brings people together you can have various power banks thermo mugs some souvenirs etc in my project this is a motivation system we are buying some cool prizes but up to three thousand rubles or up to four three nine hundred ninety something so despite the fact that we are trying to give you maximum detail information remember you have the access to all guidelines reference sources etc you have answers to all your questions that's in your hands now shoot them into the internet space sorry for interrupting I feel I have said everything already oh going back to grant expenses what needs to happen well a I have an idea I have properly formalized it in words I even invited a friend of mine who is quite good with figures and budgets etc he added everything I talked with an expert I spent their time they have shown me the weak spots what do I need to go next I need to go to the forum I need to fill an application on the websites what steps do I need it's different in the case of Maria it was a remote contest and finding an application you should ha in my case I had to uh, describe it in words uh, precisely etc well experts are paying attention to everything your punctuation uh, how reasonably you prepare your project import it's what's important is not only reading of the sheet of paper but also be uh, delivering it uh, in words well uh, you are not just showing off you are uh, presenting it how you are capable of delivering it there are different contests there are offline and online components and experts are checking you how ready you are that you are coming not on not uh, with somebody else's project and they're just presenting it here but whether you are capable of answering the question only if and only if you are familiar with all the atmosphere all the components being in the context I, I feel that if someone would ask me about some folk things I would not be able to respond whilst I believe this gentleman could he would come up with let me translate all this into the language of those who are still at high school or at, uni or at university at the exam you'll get extra questions to understand that you truly understand the topic and not just uh, copy the the answers from some cheat sheet I'd like to add at Rosmoderi website at uh, events tab you see a list of great many forums in St. Peter's, Moscow, Crimea, Altai at the east at even at Sakhalin there would be a, for, a forum on uh, that Uh, that I got lucky to become part of thus the youth of Tatarstan you have plenty of opportunities there is all this information available on the internet most importantly is that our Republic is paying all the tickets not always but 
I guess there is some reasonable ratio of costs, etc. If some of you still have an idea that you are bringing an idea and the state gives you money to travel to know, Maldives or to spend your time well, uh, have a party, that's incorrect. No, you are getting money to get some project which has some community benefit and you're capable of delivering. Are there any any motivators? Why would you want to do that? Well, let me reiterate once again. It sh the project of yours should be socially important. Uh, there is the guideline saying the, the project that shows all the road map not just traveling to somewhere that's obviously an investment into developing your human and social capital if it's a grant for education but the project should show how your project will be beneficial for the society in our case we are teaching the youth about say legal literacy uh, and we are conducting courses on on, uh, on understanding legislation, on developing legislation. Thus, we are making a specific contribution to the developing human capital of specific group of people of specific age, etc. Or say some business projects. People are uh, sometimes bringing in ideas of uh, business projects which is to generate your b profits, etc. Uh, those don't get funding ex unless this is the so-called social businesses, but that's a different level of complexity. What you should avoid when you are presenting. We have discussed what should be done. Can you give some ideas on what shouldn't be done? Understand that you should look nice. You should know the topic you are talking about. In my case, you shouldn't be formalistic about your idea. You should get familiarized with the area. If you say understand sports and you'd like to organize something related to sports, you should at least take a look at what grants have been filed and have received funding. Uh, not to come to the defense of the thesis that you feel it's the best project, best thing that can be invented, whilst the, such a project was filed last year already. You should take a look at what grants have been winning, who, uh, who was accepted, who was not accepted, to understand the field, keep that field in the radar. Uh, isn't that sad when you're having a wonderful idea and then you see that you are not the first one to come that up? Well, it might be okay in case of uh, regional uniqueness that anything that you have come up with, it, it probably already exists. You should bring something new into it and then you can take part in this contest. Most importantly, you don't enlarge, be excessive uh, budget. They're demanding for excessive budgets. Someone might want to buy a notebook just to keep contact data, etc., of the participants. Look, if you are requesting a grant for a media project, um, uh, a notebook for 60,000 rubles is enough in st and not a MacBook Pro something worth 200,000 rubles. Experts, obviously, they understand what kind of equipment you need and the, they s talk about this. They talk about the budgeting. If you want to buy microphones, you should understand what brand, uh, model, how much it costs. Don't don't try to either show a much higher or much lower price tag. When you are asked why is that and why that exactly, you should be ready to respond. I understand that uh, there are probably plenty of people that are getting filtered out at the very first steps. 
that were not motivated by the, I guess, uh, true idea from the very beginning. Such project. Well, you have to write in the project, and uh, you have to provide the budget of the project. And for example, uh, well, the uh, merchandise for our participants. Uh, for example, in our case, it was some uh, uh, just the copy books, uh, pens, uh, T-shirts, and I wrote just uh, T-shirt plus copy book plus pen, just the price and multiply 100. You have to write it separately. Yes, yes. What exactly pens, uh, what uh, k kind of uh, uh, prints you, you have to put on your t-shirts, uh, embroidery, or just stenciling. Just uh, very little detail must be taken into account with the prices. If you talk about hired photographer or cameraman for, I don't know, three days, three hours, because in projects uh, last three, three, uh, three days, so uh, it must be clear for the expert why this or that cost that much and, and who, who can do it. Everything must be transparent completely completely transparent it's like at school when uh, you you just uh, have to uh, be as precise as possible in your budgeting it's probably a good idea to uh, invite some of your friends uh, as a devil's advocate to just uh, come and ask you questions. We are gradually running out of time, and before we round up, uh, let me just ask you the general questions. What is the final advice from each of you for people who heard about grants and who now saw and is... Um, watching and uh, our program and uh, listening to us. Uh, so what kind of advice, final advice you can give? Well, just, um, well, probably if you want to do some project, uh, you have to uh, define what exact project in what area uh, it is. And it must be interesting for you personally, because in the long run, it's just, it's not, it's not about uh, winning grant. Uh, and uh, well, it's not. It's uh, no. It uh, most difficult is to what you're going to do after you win the grant. How to collect people? Uh, because uh, you don't. It's not a, a project for profit for money. You you have to do it. You have to choose the way how to get the grant. And so, if, if you. If you haven't got, think about it, um, social uh, projects, you're young and they just do something good because it develops you, you find new people, you get new contacts, you start networking and you do something good for society. And I believe that it's, uh, you grow as a person. And we improve, you make the world a better place around you. So that's why we have this grant. That's why we, uh, you can't be given money. You don't pay your own money. You, you use money to do good things for people. So I think it's a good time to do it when you are at this age. And just uh, see, look what kind of forums we have, what kind of, of government support you can get. So, and, um, it's uh, all real. Try to find these opportunities uh, to do it. So, who can end up? Uh, let, let me say a couple of words. And a lot of uh, young people um, ask questions. A lot of <laughs> young people want to get grant, but they don't know exactly the idea. Well, ask yourself question. Okay, you live in a small uh, town or in a big city. Ask yourself a question, what would you like to have more in this city? I don't know, maybe a new project, maybe something, something else. Originally, it all is based upon your personal wish or unrealized wish. You want to be a blogger, to do something nice and active. In my case, I just wanted to make films. So... So, find something interesting. 
be bold, be brave. So the original idea is not I want to get grant. Original idea is I want to make the world a better place. And only after that you find the way people, organizations who can invest into this good idea. If you if you don't yourself you don't believe in the idea which come up to your mind, I don't think you'll succeed succeed. Yes, you have to be passionate about this idea. Uh, for me, uh, visualization was a great help. I, I, I understood that for me this is very important to feel yourself a, as a winner. Uh, in the questionnaire, you feel yes, not about meditation. It was a pivoting point for you. Yeah, because before that I just couldn't imagine. And then suddenly it just worked for me because uh, literally it just happened exactly how I imagined it. So without internal harmony, there's no way you can do it. I mean, you have to keep this balance of interest and ideas and everything. Don't be afraid. Just don't be afraid. It's easy to say. Well, so if you're in depression, it's easy to say, well, don't be sad. No, no, no. I don't want to give uh, some kind of a sending a message or something. And uh, let me just remind you that our grant is an education grant. So if you are afraid to uh, apply for federal projects, so in our project we will have teaching. It will be for municipal regions. We uh, will get any kind of feedback for free. And federal experts, they are on the forums and they will tell you what to do, what to do with your idea, whether to apply for federal projects because we have this experience. Don't be afraid of yourself because this fear, this fear that somebody's opinion will impact you. No, it's vice versa. You must uh, impact on somebody's opinion. Uh, and influence somebody's opinion. Just don't let put any pressure on you. Experts don't want to be unfair with you. Uh, we have been to many, many f forums and many sessions. Experts want to help you when they ask questions. They want you yourself to understand more about your project. They want you to understand and learn from your mistakes, which you can correct and learn from. And that's why come to our projects, take part in our projects, we are here for a reason today. Uh, well, um, well, uh, well. Some already got grants. Um, we'll need reports. We need to start uh, working. Uh, don't just be courageous. Be brave. Follow you. Follow your dream. If if you really want to to achieve something, there. It doesn't matter where you live. Uh, it will be. You will be helped. I will be helped. Uh, <clears throat> well, but until you ask universe what you need, the universe will not give it to you. When we say don't be afraid, and at that moment, uh, well, you just hesitate. Where well, my idea is not good, and all oh, you got all these demons of hesitation. Um, well, you have to be able to overcome your reservations. Uh, and I'm sure you'll deal with the rest. And again, there are people who are ready to come and help you and uh, give you answers in case you didn't get these answers in your uh, guidelines, uh, which you can find in your website for grants. So ask your questions. Unfortunately, now we have to uh, finish. I hope we gave you enough food for thought, and uh, we hope that uh, our viewers are already preparing their projects and they will get grants. So that's it. My name is Alexander Sanchez. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you, our guests, for your life hack stories. Stay with us. And it was the five life hacks from grant holders, and we continue.